good morning and uh, it's monday and uh, it's docas with you once again continuing with the study um, lesson six so we have been talking about the love of money which is what we started with yesterday and today being monday uh, we are talking about being aware of satan's um, the enemy's plan and this seems to have moved a little bit away from the love of money but it's also a warning which we have been um we have been warned um in 2a we are talking about matthew 20 verse 1 to 9 and matthew 20 was basically talking about the master of the vineyard who got some workers in the morning and then he went out again and got more workers um and then he went again and got more and all the way up to the 11th hour when he found some workers still idling and he also gave them work and at the end of the day he rewarded everyone equally and so that was a big surprise for the ones who got in at the 11th hour and because they had really not thought much about the reward that they were going to get they knew they had got in quite late so they really didn't expect much and so this lesson is really talking to us and telling us um, as much as the reward is a wonderful thing to consider when we are working for the Lord it's not supposed to be the uppermost thing or the most important thing and so the question is talking about warning us of a sinister plot against Sabbath keepers so it can be um, a plot against Sabbath keepers by the enemy where he he makes us only think about the reward that we are going to get so we work with our mind only focused on the reward but as much as a reward is a good thing we are told here that when christ abides in the soul the thought of reward is not uppermost this is not the motive motive that actuates our service so it's not supposed to be the motive it's supposed to be the love of god and the love of man so of course we we he wants us to um, appreciate his blessings he's promised us right but it's not supposed to be the only thing that we're supposed to be focusing on and we, it would rather that it would rather that we would uh, focus on loving the lord and loving others much more than um, the rewards because from what i see in these lessons if you have a lot of wealth for example and you feel you have enough how why would you feel like you need to work for the lord what you you may feel like you don't need another reward you don't see like it doesn't seem like eternal life is such a big reward because you're really enjoying a good life here on earth and so the reward might not be as appealing but if you are driven by the love of god and the love of fellow men that would give you a different motive of you, uh, of of what your heart, where where your heart will be, or what you're going to concentrate on in this life. So it can be um, a trap for us when we think too much about the reward, because just because of the the few things that I've mentioned and maybe more. Um, so it, we've been told that love to God and to our fellow men should be our motive. And again, we are also warned about covetousness. And why are we specifically warned about covetousness? And uh, Luke 12 verse 15 says, Luke 12 verse 15 says, And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisted not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. So when you're covetous, you want more. You want to acquire more. And the more that you acquire, it's not because you want to give out to others, it's because you want to acquire more for yourself, more houses, more land, more cars, more this, more that. And so it really breeds a, a spirit of selfishness because you don't covet things and covet them to give away, you covet things to keep to yourself. And so it also, it besides creating um, selfishness, it also brings a sense of self-confidence uh, because you have all these things you feel confident in the things of this world which really should not give us confidence because we come empty and we live with nothing we come naked we live naked and so we there's no way we are going to go with any of these things so 
um, it's also reminding us that someone who is very selfish and self-confident, you don't la have love, of course, for God, you don't have love for the man, then there's no place for you in heaven, in the kingdom of heaven. So it's, it says here in, this, in the extended reading that it's only those who are partakers with Christ in his self-denial and sacrifice that will be partakers with him in his glory. So it's only those who are like Christ. And Christ, we know, he, you know, he, 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 his life was about loving God and loving man, and really focusing on on those two while here on earth. And everything else comes into play when we have these thoughts in mind, because um, that's that's how that's how we're blessed, and that's what God has um, commanded us, and that's what that's the example that we had from our Lord Jesus Christ. So we should be beware um, of the plans or the traps that the enemy might have for us while we think that we are on the path and yet we are not because of um, maybe because of just thinking about the world or just being uh, having a coveting spirit. So let's think about this, um, this thought. Let's have these thoughts in mind today as we go about um, our day today and look forward to seeing you tomorrow where we'll continue studying a little bit more. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.